Hi Sagittarius, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have, what are their true intentions in love? And so today, Sagittarius, uh, is your lucky day, right? I feel like it is with this reading. <laughs> and so uh, we're going to, we have your person, your cards here, I beg your pardon, and we're going to set your person's cards down here. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys are all well. We start with the six of Gabriel, right? And interestingly enough, Sagittarius, uh, I was thinking about love and career or life path, right? You know, I w both of them. And so even when you have subtle thoughts, it comes out. It does. So we have the six of Gabriel here. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotions. Now, these next five oracle cards here the alchemical artist the next card you will only see the way by making the way he's holding the uh he's holding the torch and he kind of looks like you know sherlock holmes right who was you know a detective trying to see the way of course right the way to the criminal right i know you guys aren't looking for criminals though right no but you're looking for the path everybody's looking for their path and uh, if you don't think you're seeking your path, you either figured it out or uh, your head is in the sand and you think that, uh, you know, everybody's seeking the path forward, even if it is kind of subconscious. Yeah. The people who know this, that they are really seeking their path, uh, are doing their best to manifest a great future, right? Seeking their path, not their past. No, not the past at all. And so we have, you are at the divine Y point. So it's interesting here with the, uh, you know, with the tree here, one side of it looks like it's kind of burnt kind of, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. The other side is kind of, maybe it's not burnt, but the other side is, you know, growing a rainbow from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, which has the pot of gold. Yes, it does. Uh, as we learned when we were kids, right? They would always show the rainbow and the pot of gold. They don't do that anymore, but you know, we're not here to talk about that. No, we're not because we have to, we make our own rainbow. You guys, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the cloud over your head if you have one, please, and uh, get a rainbow there, okay? The other day I was with somebody and uh, my son mentioned to me that uh, somebody is walking around with a cloud over their head, <laughs> a rain cloud. <laughs> And I go, I didn't really hear him. I go, what? And then he and I kind of, I agreed, right? So we have the courageous peony. And this is, you know, uh, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. And so in terms of a career, this could be saying, uh, you know, that you need to let yourself be seen, right? If you are this alchemical artist and if you are working on new projects, right? You have to get out there somehow. This is how you meet people who help you. Hey, uh, you know what? So-and-so, uh, they're doing this over here. Uh, you might be able to, I don't know, showcase your art or whatever it is, right? Uh, you have to kind of meet people. You do. And if you don't meet them in person, uh, you can find out about them online. But uh, this is just such a beautiful, uh, like, uplifting and if, you know, if it's about love, then it's beautiful too, right? We also have earthed, yeah, earthed, right? Earth to Sagittarius, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Let's see what they say about that, right? Uh, mm -hmm, about this earthed. And uh, let's start over here, though, the alchemical artist. It is a number 10. I think this is the Wheel of Fortune, kind of, uh, in this deck, but... Uh, they're showing, you know, these different suns uh, over the different moons. Kind of interesting here, but these are kind of cycles, right? They are. Whenever we see the moon, kind of talks about cycles. Let's see what they have to say here about this particular card, which is kind of their major arcana, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the number 10. Because Sagittarius, you're a 10, right? When somebody asks you, well, what do you think you are, right? You say, I'm a 10 all the time right <laughs> and we have that's not being uh that's not being conceited that's being confident right you say it in a very nice way not i'm a 10 baby right mm -hmm. attributes creativity artistry new combinations transcendence greater self yeah mm -hmm. potential questions to ask what is my own unique art why haven't i put out my greatest art yet 
Now, you know, this could be, uh, for some, these questions could really apply, but clearly uh, this talks about your artistry and your path forward. It could be any art. You might be, you know, online. Maybe you are speaking, right? Like I'm doing now, but you could be any kind of art. It's not just painting a picture. I feel like most people know this, but maybe not everybody. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is your creativity. And uh, we start with this six of Gabriel, which is really the six of wands and a victory, right? Time to move on to the next project. It's like overcoming. And we have the six of wands here in your hope and desire. Yeah, we do. And so Here's, uh, you know, the Sherlock Holmes lookalike, and here he is, and he's got this big uh, mustache like Sir Sherlock Holmes. I used to see people with these, men with these, with these uh, mustaches when I was younger, and I'd go, uh, you know, sometimes their mustache would be way out here by their ears, and I'd be going, well, he's making some type of a statement for sure, right? And so, which I thought was strange, oh, I'm glad I'm not married to somebody like that, because it I just was like, not intimidating, but kind of. I don't know, it was different, right? You will only see the way by making the way. So here he is, he's holding the torch. Uh, and he has some type of a dragonfly, looks like uh, here, which, you know, uh, which talks about, uh, I feel like it talks about new beginnings or wealth or just, you know, it, it is a uh, symbology for something very positive. It is. Uh, and uh, he's, you know, he's lighting the way. You will only see the way by making the way. This talks about taking a step. All self-help uh, gurus will say, oh, you're afraid? Well, a lot of people have been afraid, but you still do it, and you take the first step. Sometimes when you take the first step, uh, it, it looks easier, right? After the first step, you go, well, oh, this wasn't as hard as I thought, right? Just like little kids when they're learning to walk, right? They just keep getting up, right? Uh, and then you are at the divine Y point. Let's see what they're saying here about the divine Y point uh, with the tree here. And uh, mm -hmm. one tree is uh, growing a rainbow and the other tree is kind of growing something else. Yeah, I don't think it's burnt. No, it's not. It's just kind of. Mm -hmm. So let's look at that mm -hmm. see what they have to say. It is a 33. And you are at the divine Y point at each moment in time and space. There is a, there is a choice point. Yeah, it's kind of like a crossroads, but it has been called the divine Y by some of the sages. Now, when we say crossroads, you know, sometimes there's a, some people might hear a negative, you know, like a negative with it, right? Because sometimes a crossroads is like, it can be like a turning point, like, bam, I need to make a choice here because, uh, something has happened here, right? Something kind of upsetting or a tower moment, something like that. But sometimes uh, the crossroads is just like, well, here's, there's a choice here to the left and one to the right. And which one are you going to choose? You are now at such a point. Where will you go, left or right? Okay, so you're making choices. You are definitely Sagittarius. Uh, or you will be very soon, right? You will only see the way by making the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here we talk about your artistry. We talk about courage here, Sagittarius. Uh, and Sagittarius is a courageous sign. Uh, everybody can be courageous. For sure they can. We don't really want to stereotype here. But I have read that in a couple places, right? Mm -hmm. Some people might say we're, sometimes we're ballsy and, you know, sometimes uh, blunt and all this stuff, which is fine. But uh, it's fine for me, right? But my point is that uh, courage is very important. Anybody can be courageous. You don't have to have even have Sagittarius in your chart. Uh, courage is a mindset. For sure it is, right? Yeah, happiness is a mindset and so is sadness, right? Because even if something hard, bad really happens to you, it's your choice how you respond to it, right? And I'm clearly, I'm not saying you don't grieve over something, but if something bad happens, but you have to get past the grieving. It's just a stage. You don't grieve for the rest of your life. I was trying to tell somebody that, somebody young, yeah, just a couple of days ago. I go, what? You're going to let that sad thing uh, define your life? No, you're not, right? Bam, bam, right? <laughs> like, psh, like, let me slap you in the face and wake you up, right? The courageous peony, unique nature, let yourself be seen. You know, this is interesting too, because if this is love, right? Somebody could be choosing you and they're at the point where they make the choice. Yeah. And so 
this could be a mixed reading. It can. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of really interesting. Uh, I think I was, I was thinking about both, both love <clears throat> and career when I started the reading. Yeah. And I, I feel like it's both right. And so mm -hmm. let yourself be seen the courageous peony. Let's see what they say about that. Peony's a flower. I think, yeah, they're showing these flowers here. <clears throat> Let's see what they say for the courageous peony. Yeah. If you don't have courage, you can't have anything in this world. You could be the best, the smartest, right? Uh, you could be the most educated. The most important quality is your courage to move forward. It is not your talent. It is not your education. Plenty of educated people who take the degree and they go, well, I don't really want to do that anyway. I'm going to go, you know, work at the donut shop. Hey, that's fine. If it's, if it makes you happy, right? Whatever, whatever you makes you happy here. Let's see what it says here. How you, how are you being called to allow yourself to be more visible and seen in the world? Flowers don't open and close according to who walks by. They embrace all of what they are and show it to the world around them. The peony doesn't try to compete with the cherry blossom and the cherry blossom doesn't try to compete with the tulip. They own what they are and trust the timing of their true nature. You're being called to do the same. It's time to open up yourself up to being seen. Time to share your incredible multifaceted multi-talented, right? True nature with the world around you to uncover and reveal your soul's greatest gifts without wavering, to own your uniqueness without apology. Mm -hmm. There's a flower on the planet that holds the same qualities that your soul is readying itself to express. Let it inform you. Yeah. Don't ever apologize to people who uh, are not reaching for their dream and you, you know, don't ever feel guilty for that person. If they want to remain there and they don't want to reach for their dream because they are afraid, well, that's on them, right? Yeah, you can't, you can't rescue the world and you can't feel bad because you are reaching for your dream. Let's, let's see what it says about Earth. all right? Yeah, it sounds funny a little bit. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Do you tend to long for the stars or be more in the physical? How can you find greater balance between the two? Okay, and here she is dropping down in this kind of bubble here to the earth because, you know, she's been in the cosmos, real spiritual. Mm -hmm. The challenge for all souls having a human experience is to be in the world, but not of it. Yeah. We are having a human experience here and we are spiritual beings or having a physical experience, right? Yeah. There's a great, uh, there's a uh, Joseph P. Anthony, he's an astrologer and he says the same thing. And that's, and once people realize that they will realize their power, right? Mm hmm. So let's get into it, Sagittarius. And uh, here, I feel like you have, maybe you have gone through an awakening or somebody has, because this, the way she drops down to this earth here, maybe it's your person. She is, you know, uh, kind of balancing between the spiritual and the physical world. And this is what, if everybody would just learn to do that, uh, and you could be saying, how do you do that, right? First, you have to understand how powerful you are and that you are a spiritual being, right? Uh, if you go to uh, one of the Silva Method classes, you will see how psychic you are. Yeah, it's really empowering, the Silva Method. So let's get into it, you guys. And uh, as I have already once said, right? Here you are, Sagittarius, being resilient with the Nine of Wands. You're being the wounded warrior, right? And so I don't like to say the wounded warrior anymore because I'm being very careful with my thoughts. Uh, I like to say the resilient warrior. Yeah. And here he is. He has a bandage on, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, on his forehead, he's holding the wand and he's protecting himself. But this is pushing forward, right? To the next, to the completion. This is somebody who's resilient. So possible you've been, you know, this could be saying you've been so resilient about some type of choice or new career that looks like that you want here for yourself. Maybe some type of art, right? Uh, anything is art now. Anything you create is artistry, right? Yeah. And so uh, maybe you have been kind of felt embattled or not. It doesn't, this guy's kind of been embattled, but maybe you have felt challenged uh, up to the nine, right? Nine of wands. We have the uh, Six of Cups in the reading and the Six of Wands. Six are about priorities, they are. And so uh, here's these kids running back to their father here. Mm -hmm. You might have waited to. For some, you could be waiting to reunite with somebody. 
And maybe you got hurt in the past over this, possibly. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's them, but... Uh, so I'm going to read this in two ways. I'm going to read this about love and your career is how we're going to do it today. Here's the magician. Here he is. And, you know, mm -hmm. and he is, his wand is up in the air here. I don't think it's typically up in the air. I think it's usually, and so is the sword. Everything's up in the air here. Uh, and so this is what's on your mind here. You're trying to, you want to manifest something here. Now, it's possible for some, you want to manifest something you, you wanted in the past. And you want, you want to return to that. Like maybe a long time ago, you thought you wanted to be ABC or XYZ, right? You wanted to be something or manifest something. And so now it's possible you are, uh, you know, wanting to, and maybe, you know, hopefully taking action, but wanting to manifest something uh, that you left maybe in the past. This could also be a reconciliation here. It could, it could be both, right? In your challenge is the Page of Swords. So, you know, the Page of Swords, this is a little bit different deck, but in the Page of Swords, these men are, these people, yeah, they're men, and they're walking toward him to tell him something. This is in your challenge. You might be waiting for word, right? You could. You could be waiting for some news here. I feel like you might be because the Nine of Wands can be waiting. He's standing there waiting. He's waiting for something. He's got his friend helping him, right? And they both kind of look a little troubled or a little kind of maybe uncertain, kind of like, oh, what's going to happen here, right? Uh, but you're waiting for word. It does look like that. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you feel like somebody has uh, had an awakening here, your person, and they want to be seen like they are coming out from hiding, possibly after some type of a choice. And this choice, I believe, if yeah, regarding love is to be with you. Yeah, they might have been afraid to. Uh, you will only see the way by making the way. That's how it is, right? Yeah, and even kids, when they're building Lego and things like that, they can only kind of, sometimes they they can only see what they're building after they put a few, <clears throat> a few blocks up, right? Then they're like, oh, okay, I'm going to make this. All right, okay, very cool, right? Mm-hmm. And so here we have, you want this victory or you want to overcome any obstacles that you've, dealt with, uh, mm -hmm. you've dealt with, it's possible, you know, regarding business, you want to be recognized here. You could be maybe working on some type of a career or wanting some type of a new project where there's recognition, right? Like here, I, I went through these workshops now, and now I want to do this. And, you know, you're seeking some type of recognition, maybe, maybe to teach or just some type of recognition. It could be your art, right? Mm -hmm. I told my daughter, you better start putting your art out there because you won't be recognized uh, for your talent and you won't, you won't, you know, you won't earn money at what you love to do the most, right? Mm-hmm. She probably thinks I'm a nag, right? Here we have the death card. Uh, I, feel, I feel like she does. <laughs> Here we have the death card, you guys. And, uh, this could be you possibly fearing that you can't transform something. You can't change. Uh, transformation can be like anything, right? Moving out of something and, you know, wanting to do something new. Uh, it could be, you could also be fearing with regard to love. Maybe you're fearing an ending here. Like this person won't come back to you. It's a possibility. Yeah. And so let's look at your challenge, Sagittarius. Uh, and let's see why. Wow, we're at 18 minutes. I talk too much, huh? Let's see why the Page of Swords is there for you, Sagittarius, in your challenge. We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, and so, you know, you're waiting for somebody to tell you something, that they've cut something out, or maybe you want to tell somebody here. This could also be your challenge. It doesn't have to be specifically like that, especially in a general reading, but this could be you in your challenge. You kind of have to cut something out possibly in order to figure your way out, uh, in, on this path, because for some people, this reading is about love and some it's career and some it's actually both, right? Yeah. So let's get one more card. The man's cutting the other man here in the challenge. You could be waiting for word that somebody let somebody, somebody go because 
you want a huge change here and this is very clear Sagittarius uh, in your reading right mm, it is let's see with your cards definitely and uh, and in the past you know you could have been insecure uncertain about this your current energy is it looks like that you want to return to this person or you want to return to something from the past it could be that you feel like also with work you started something and you didn't finish it and you go I can finish that project now uh, and I can bring it to life, right? It's possible. Sometimes we're better later on at it. Yeah, if we left it. Sometimes it's true. You grow and you're like, well, now I can do that now. When the past, it looked hard. Sometimes we, uh, we run up against that. Let's see what we have in your challenge, Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you want either a new stable beginning with somebody or you want your own stable financial yeah, you want to bring your art to life or some type of new career here, and it's showing up in your challenge. You might be thinking, I have to cut something out in order to bring this into fruition. I mean, for some, especially in a general reading, this could be habits, right? Because we see these cards, you will only see the way by making the way uh, you know, and congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, right? Maybe you are, for some, you could be wanting to cut the past away because, you know, we know here, uh, in terms of kind of, uh, a higher consciousness, sometimes the past has to be cut away. It just depends, right? Because the past, anything that was negative, we, it's hard to move. It's difficult and it's nearly impossible to move forward when you are stuck in some type of negative past, right? Or you can't forgive somebody or there's guilt or it's fear or just something like that. And here in your fear with the death card uh, is the three of wands reversed or your doubt here. I just feel like for some in love, you could be uh, afraid just simply that you can't manifest something and your ships aren't going to come in or there a third party possibly won't end just for some because the death cards with the three of one, uh, three of wands reversed, right? Mm -hmm. Let's look at your person's, uh, let's see why you want the six of wands with this victory, maybe about four of swords. You're trying to recover something, uh, Sagittarius. You are, you are trying to recover something here. Yeah, whatever that may be, right? It could be this person. It could be, <clears throat> like I said, a past project. Let's look at their cards. Show me the energy for Sagittarius' person. For Sagittarius' person. And we have the Knight of Cups. And their current energy is judgment. Somebody wants to return to you right here. And here we have the Five of Pentacles in their current energy. I mean, this is what's on their mind. I beg your pardon. Here they are looking in the church window. Will Sagittarius let me redeem myself? Repent. Please let me repent, Sagittarius. I went to church and everything. I tried to cleanse my soul. <laughs> I'm not sure if that really happened. But here's a dog looking into the window. Can I come in? It's snowing out. He's, uh, he's in the cold, right? He's in the snow. Your person's current energy is judgment. So they're making a decision or this is all about a rebirth with you. I feel like it's both, right? Of course, you can't, you, you know, uh, manifest this rebirth without some type of conscious decision, right? No, you can't. And here's the Knight of Cups, and she's giving him the cup, and he's traveled to get it. And this is in your person. This is what's on their mind. This person wants to come in, uh, and they need to take some action instead of, you know, what's on, what's on your mind in the challenge. Here's the four of wands. Now they could be married to somebody. They could, or this could be that, you know, uh, you, maybe you left them out or they left you out because this five of, uh, pentacles talks about, let me in from the cold. Right. And in the challenge, is this some type of a union that they either want with you or they have to leave a union? Yeah. Especially next to the five of pentacles and in their hopes and desires is the king of wands and you have a really grumpy look on your face here sagittarius right yeah don't get mad for any uh any sensitive sagittarians i don't feel like we are anyway no i feel like we're seen sometimes we're seen as the rogue right the rogue <laughs> and uh right it's just blood like hey blah 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 what yeah. and so here's the king sitting with 
the lion and he's being handed the wand but he's looking at the wand by the divine hand like well i'm not sure if i want this he looks really tense the way he's holding his hands here this person's hoping you're going to have courage to deal with their to deal with their whatever they're hoping you're going to have courage for this union here they could have been in a union with somebody else and they think you're afraid to deal with them i feel like that's what this is and their fear is that probably you won't take this ace of wands with them right here's the magic not the magic but the divine same thing the divine hand grabbing uh the wand so here they are they think you don't want them they think you're not going to have courage because they they pulled a fast one on you sagittarius right i feel like they did uh mm -hmm. we're going to end this reading and go to the extended we are sagittarius and uh for those of you who are, you know, uh, watching this reading for love, we're, this is going to be their reading. It is. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have a spread on them. Uh, a what is it? We're going to have, excuse me, a tarot spread on them and an oracle spread. Their first card here is the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. They want to be seen by you. They're afraid you're going to throw them out of the church, Sagittarius, or, or wherever, wherever, right? Uh, maybe it's the dime store. Do they have a dime store anymore? It could be the 7-Eleven. They're afraid you're going to throw them out. <laughs> and Earth is what's challenged them. They went through an awakening. Remember, she's falling down from the cosmos onto Earth. This is the challenge. They went to, they had an awakening, uh, and I feel like it was kind of a disturbing one because it's showing up in the challenge, but it could be a supporting card as well. It depends on the reading. And we're also going to uh, have uh, all their cards, their tarot cards, and we're going to do a tarot spread showing their, their uh, we're going to see how they feel about you, but we're going to see their advice, their environment, what's coming in for them, what's in their corner, like what's helping them, right? And also their hopes and fears, what they need to focus on, what they're leaving behind, etc. And we're going to have, this is a 10 card spread. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.